Tenure note treasury yields hit their lowest since May 7th. That was on the Big Miss April employment report. Also matched a level that we saw back in March, uh, getting down as low as 148. Kind of a double bottom there. We haven't seen too much trade down at that level. And clearly we've seen a significant move uh, over the last month or so. Last month we auctioned off 10 years at 168. Today we auctioned off 10 years at 149. So uh, a big move over that month. Uh, clearly we haven't seen a sustained trade at, at these lower levels. And last time we were trading below 140 in the 10-year note yield, you gotta go all the way back to February. And if you go back to the beginning of the year, end of January, we were trading, that was the last time we traded below 1%. So obviously the market's seen a big move in that time. It's starting to reverse some of that rise that we've seen over the first quarter and into second quarter. Now seeing things pull back a little bit as we come up on some very big data that, uh, later this week, along with a Fed meeting next Wednesday. So some big, big events happening. And the treasury market right now uh, sort of unsure of itself. Yields had gotten as high as 177 at the end of March. And now that we're into the second week of June, we're seeing yields down around, one, around 150 or just below. So again, treasury market right now, not really playing into that inflation fear game that we had seen. Recall the Fed has been talking about the Fed inflation being transitory, meaning it's not here to stay permanently, despite the fact that we see higher commodity prices, we see higher food prices, uh, the treasury yield curves have started to flatten a bit. So ultimately it'll come down to next week's Fed meeting. Will the Fed change any of its asset purchases? Will they announce when they might change any of their asset purchases and tapering? And obviously that would be a big event to the market, but right now, not seeing any significant changes and the treasury market now starting to reflect that maybe inflation isn't as big a deal as we had thought coming in, uh, obviously in the months preceding uh, the highs that we got back in March. Now, what does that mean for volatility? Well, vol check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. You'll notice that volatility did nudge higher today. So typically when we see vol uh, yields go down, we see volatility go down. But the fact that we are sort of at the edge of the range uh, below 150 for the first time. Uh, obviously, we were there in early May. We were there in early March. But we haven't spent any real time down there. So a move much lower here in yield could start to see volatility move up, given the fact that we're breaking out of the range. Now, again, we've got some key events. There also could be a little bit of hype in the market for CPI tomorrow, for FOMC next week. So a little bit of, of all that mixed together, we are seeing volatility nudge higher. It is at a low level to start with. So it's not like we're breaking out into new high volatility areas. It's just that we got so low, things are starting to bid back up as we have some event risk priced into the market as well as a potential breakout. Now, what do we have uh, tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we have CPI, as I mentioned, and it is expected to come in higher. We also get the jobless claims numbers, which have been trending lower significantly. And it gives us kind of that in the moment look at the job market. The one conundrum with the jobless claims is, is that we continue to see jobless claims come down. Uh, but with unemployment coming down, but we have a uh, record jolts number that came in at above 9 million. So you got 9 million people, uh, 9 million jobs open with 16 million people uh, on benefits. So it's kind of one of those conundrums. Perhaps the Fed will give us a better explanation, some clarity when they meet next week. And obviously that will be the big it moment. A market always looking forward. We'll be looking to next week's FOMC meeting, not expecting any change in rates, but possibly could get some uh, hints maybe of when the Fed might look to change some of their asset purchases. Again, that's not set in stone. And obviously the Fed wants to put that off as long as they can to keep things normal and continue to let this economy grow. So ultimately, 10-year note yields coming down, hitting their lowest that we've seen in over a month. How long will it stay down here? Well, we'll have to wait and see with CPI tomorrow and next week's FOMC.